The AIDS Information Center has been supported by the Civil Society Fund in the past four years to undertake night HIV counseling and testing, known as Moonlight HCT, to target clients who cannot reach their services during their time. Moonlight activities are basically targeting people who cannot access the services during their time due to the nature of their jobs or because of fear the stigma, to be stigmatized in the community. We want to target them to get to know their zero status because we believe that knowing your one with zero status is the first step in the prevention of HIV AIDS spread. So we will try to, uh, to take services closer to the people and within the convenient time that they have around. And as we, we, um, we organize our moonlights, we have educational, uh, HIV educational talks to give them information that is uh, uh, can be used to avert or to, to prevent the spread of HIV AIDS. As the sun sets in the distant horizon, long distance truck drivers begin arriving in Mwende town for the night stop. At the same time, the AIDS Information Center mobile van arrives and sets up for the moonlight HIV counseling and testing. It doesn't take long before clients begin arriving. On the moonlight, we do, um, we do, uh, we we mobilize uh, our clients um, because <coughs> they are, they are in different they are different areas of work, and then the other thing we do HCT in this moonlight. Uh, we test people for HIV. Um, we do the counseling. We do referral. We refer them to the, the, the different places for uh, to get more services. Because after after knowing that they are HIV positive, mainly those who are HIV positive and need care, we send them to the different places for uh, for more support. The nearest health centers who are, which are around. Truck drivers and commercial sex workers who are among the most at risk population are the main target of this Moonlight HCT, which also benefits other groups at night, including vendors and security personnel. For mainly this Moonlight, moonlight testing, we always have uh, those CSWs and, and the truck drivers. <coughs> so sometimes we have business people who come in, because there's some who don't want really. And actually, some other, we have some, some categories like the people with money, because they don't want to be seen testing during the day so they come at this time to test they are very happy they have welcomed actually the idea and actually they are the reason why we come back because uh, sometimes when we come we go to a place and uh, and they come and there are very many we leave them and go back to our places actually we come back to finish up that the, the numbers that have come but the, when we come back we shall find even more other people who have come because they'll inform other people who have not come who, 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 had, not, who had not known about this exercise. Many other clients who are busy during the day like this couple have found the Moonlight HCT very convenient. <laughs> Civil Society Fund has been very, very useful in this, in that there are many places we could not reach because of lack of funds. But when they funded us, we have reached areas that we, have, we had never gone to. Uh, there are many risky areas like the islands. They are very hard to reach, and the people there live a very risky life. But we could not go there before civil society funds came in because of lack of funds. Because we need funds to travel, we need funds to facilitate our staff, we need funds to buy what we use to, to help those people. Secondly, uh, civil society funds has uh, enlarged our target audience. We used to have uh, general age cities, but now we target those mostly risky um, groups like the commercial sex workers, uh, we have uh, the fishing flocks, we have people uh, in the prison, the prisoners, um, we have long distance truck drivers, all those who could not hurt, we could not serve them before we received the civil society funds.